Hi there and welcome to the Project Corner. This is the first video of 2022. So everyone, a warm welcome to this new year. Let's hope it's a good one. Uh, today I'm going to look into Microsoft Teams and specifically all the options that you have at, in the chat section. So if this is something that you want to know more about, just stick around. If there's anything else that you want to see, uh, focus more on Project Online, pro, uh, Project for the Web, or Power BI, let me know in the comments. So Microsoft Teams is a well-used, all-round application that we now, with the pandemic of COVID, use extensively, right? We chat with each other, we have team meetings on Microsoft Teams, we add Microsoft Planner to it, we do a whole range of activity. One of the core functionalities within Microsoft Teams is the conversation option. And you can have a general Teams meeting on one of the channels. So for instance, in the posts here, and then you can just start a new conversation. Or you can have a specific chat with a specific employee of the company or externals if you allow them. Now there's a slight difference what you can do with a chat to an individual person and one that is on the general Teams channel. I'll come back to that once we discuss the general chat options that you have in a channel for Microsoft Teams. So starting a conversation is quite easy. You just click on the new start new conversation and you get presented with a bar and you just start typing. And if this is the conversation that you wanted to start, then you're good to go and you can just click on send. And that results in a normal chat, nothing special with a reply button that anyone can reply to. However, have you ever had that situation where you thought, what does this button do? And for Microsoft Teams and the chat function, there is a lot of buttons. So let's have a look at it. If I click on that first button, that A with a pen next to it, I get all kinds of options. One of the core features I like is adding a subtitle or a subject as it's called here. Uh, important, important title. And then you start typing. So with this, you can give your chat option just that little bit more of attention because it might be nice to have a important title in your discussion or in your conversation. Some other things that you can do here is you can start a new conversation or click on an announcement, which makes it even better. And adding a, and adding my announcement and you can even change color or you can have a nice little picture and upload that. So there's a lot of options here. These announcements really, they really pop out. So you might want to experiment with that, but as long as you do not spam people, right? Because then there's obviously the smart guy that wants to filter out all the announcements and they probably can. So let's have another look. When I click on that A and that pen icon, what is it called? Compose box. All right, so this is called the compose box that we're in. Everyone can reply or you and men, uh, moderators can only reply. Uh, and you can even post in multiple channels. Now this can be very interesting if you have something to say and you don't want to copy paste the same message over to different channels, click on the post to multiple channels and you'll be able to add or select additional channels from your Teams environment. Now, other than that, we have a lot of options to format our text, such as getting things to be bold, uh, italic, underlined, strike through is even here. So that's, that's very good. Color highlighting your text, giving your text another color and making a text large, small or medium. And that's just the three values that you have available. Then you also have headers and non-spaced value, and you can copy and paste your uh, format. There's options to spring in, spring out, 
give a bulleted list, bulleted list with numbers, and that's formatting of the text. So for the more exotic things, you can add a quote and that will change the highlighted area. And you can quote any previous section by clicking on this. And what it does, it, it grabs the initial quote and it gives you the URL of that quote. What I'd like to do is I select this section, the URL, and I create a URL source insert. So this looks really nice where you have a actual quote. And it looks like this when you see it uh, once it's posted. So in the reply option, you also have the option to create a, a meeting request. This doesn't show up in the normal new conversation. Looking back at the compose box or the formatting box, because it's called format now, and it's called compose box now, <laughs> so that's interesting. You can also write your own code. You can create lines in your text. So text one, and then you include a line, text two for when you need to write big amounts of text and you want to have that separated. A new conversation, let's open up another one. Click on the format or compose box. You can even add tables, which is interesting to do. Uh, you can select that this is an important thing to say, and it might even be a important announcement. So here is the most screaming announcement that you can make in a normal chat conversation. Well, maybe not the most, but you can add uh, gifts to it, just to give it a little more emphasis. I'll stop this because that's going to be annoying. Uh, you can add uh, emoticons, you can add stickers. The fun part about stickers is that you can actually change the text that's in there. So instead of saying, oh yeah, we say Microsoft Teams. Well, correct that. Microsoft Teams for the win. Yes. And then uh, there's other options as well. So let's dive into those other options as well. Uh, Oh, and <laughs> if you're doing an announcement, you really need a headline in there. Otherwise, it won't allow you to post. A couple of other things that you can do is you can add a link to stream, which is a Microsoft corporate way of uh, addressing video. You can add a praise, which is a different app that you will need to install within Microsoft Teams to in order to do that. You can set approvals, which is another app that you can use. And with the approvals, you can ask for either approval on a document or text or anything like that. And then there's something new called Viva, Viva Learning, which has been announced uh, in the end of 2021. And it gives you access, easy access to learning, um, learning content around the web or inside your company. So instead, uh, if for instance, you want to learn about Power BI, everything from Microsoft Learn. So you can have a exploring what Power BI can do for you, which is of course very interesting. Now it looks like there's no content here, but if we click on that send item icon, you can see that there's a Microsoft Learn uh, or Viva Learn module. And if I click on Consume, I'll be added to uh, the Viva Home learning experience. And I can start learning the um, module that I have here and explore more content. Heading back to the conversation, if I click on new, I also have options to, I can also add links to Azure DevOps, Power BI, and YouTube. And let's see how YouTube works. So if I'm exploring Gantt chart visuals, I can see the Actaris 
and Adwise roadmap Gantt chart visuals that I've done a while back. And if I click on add now, that will show up in our list and you can navigate through to that specific video. And that's what you can do in the chat options in Microsoft Teams. I hope you liked this video. Um, if you're looking for more content on Power BI and project for the web, have a look at the playlists on screen now. And I hope you subscribe, click on that like button if you thought this was useful, and I'll see you next time.